Welcome back to Sweet Home Chicagoland. This is the channel where we talk about all things Chicago suburbs and how to buy and sell real estate right here in the greater Chicago area. So today we're talking property taxes. What a fun subject, right? So property taxes is a hot topic in the greater Chicago area right now because property taxes just came out for most counties yesterday. Everybody loves to complain this time of year. My property taxes went up. You know, what do I do? How do I challenge it? We'll kind of cover that later in the video, how to challenge those taxes. Uh, but first, let's talk about, you know, what states are the most expensive for property taxes? What states are the least expensive? Well, if we're gonna talk about the top three states, meaning the lowest property taxes in the nation, start it off with Hawaii. Yeah, believe it or not, Hawaii has the lowest property taxes of any state in America. On average, their real estate tax rate is about 0.28%, which is fantastic, especially considering that Hawaii is one of the most expensive real estate markets in America. The average home price in Hawaii is $615,000. So even though you're getting that lower property tax, you're gonna pay so much just to get a home in Hawaii, not to mention the cost of living. You gotta remember Hawaii is an island, so they import a huge amount of their goods. Things in Hawaii just cost quite a bit more than most of the continental United States. So you've got to factor all that in if you're going to go live in the beautiful tropical paradise of Hawaii. All right, the number two, the second lowest property taxes in America, Alabama. So Alabama has about 0.41% real estate tax uh, on average. And the other benefit of Alabama, which is a huge difference than Hawaii, is their average home prices are much, much lower. So my most recent data, the average home price in Alabama is about $142,000. So huge difference here when you're talking about annual property taxes. Um, again, it's, it's almost twice as much as Hawaii, but when you're talking about a lower home price, it's, it's again, all things together and the cost of living in Alabama is gonna be much, much lower than in Hawaii. All right, rounding out the top three, the third lowest property taxes in America is Colorado. That's another one that might be a little bit hard to believe. Colorado has a red hot real estate market, particularly in the Denver area, but they still have lower property taxes than the majority of America, about 0.51% um, real estate taxes in Colorado. And again, the average home price is gonna be, you know, kinda high, about $343,000 in Colorado as a whole. So take that into account, but those three states are gonna be your, if you wanna really avoid taxes, and nobody likes paying taxes, trust me, I don't either. So if you're trying to avoid taxes, Hawaii, Alabama, and Colorado might be the places for you to move. Now let's talk about the other end of the spectrum. And we're gonna to get to how Chicagoland fits into this. Before we do that, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon if you like videos like this, if you wanna know more about the Chicago area so you can be notified when those videos come available. So let's talk about the worst three states in America for property taxes. And I hate to tell you, spoiler alert, Illinois is one of them. But it's not the worst. So the worst state in America for property taxes is New Jersey. New Jersey, on average, almost 2.5% property taxes. This 2.5% of home value in New Jersey. And home values in New Jersey aren't cheap either. So the average home in New Jersey, 335,000 as of the last uh, time that the data was taken. So average property taxes in New Jersey are somewhere around $5,400 per year. And obviously it can be a lot higher depending on the size of the home. And if you're in you know, the more metropolitan markets, it's gonna be you know, closer to New York City, closer to the major cities in New Jersey, that's gonna obviously be higher. So that takes the entire state into account. Now, where does Illinois fit in? Illinois, number two, worst property taxes in America, average rate of about 2.27%. On average, that's about $4,900 a year. Now, I mean, just to give you an example, in the Chicago suburbs, if you are in, say, a $500,000 house in the Chicago suburbs, you could expect to pay somewhere around nine or $10,000 a year in taxes. I know that's pretty staggering. So, you know, just be aware of what you're getting yourself into. And we're gonna talk about how to avoid property taxes as much as possible in the Chicagoland area. In just a second, we're gonna go through some of the cheapest suburbs in Chicago 
for property taxes. So number three, rounding out our list of the worst property taxes in America, New Hampshire. New Hampshire has on average 2.18% real estate taxes, which averages out to about $4,700 per year. And again, that's gonna be higher in the, uh, the closer the cities that you get. So be aware where you buy is gonna be a huge difference. And, and then within these states, all of these states that I've mentioned, different towns, different municipalities are gonna have different property tax rates. So you wanna get familiar with those. And that's how we tie in to Chicagoland. So when you're moving to Chicagoland, you need to take so many things into account. I personally would not buy just based on property taxes. I would buy based on where you feel is the best fit for your family, for you, for your future. And you gotta remember that oftentimes, at least within a local area, property taxes are gonna somewhat be you know, determined by the, you know, the services that are being provided. A lot of times, great school districts are gonna have a little bit higher property taxes. Uh, places with better convenience are gonna have higher property taxes. And the places that have the lower property tax are often supported by commercial districts or industrial districts, which may be a good thing, but it may mean that you don't wanna live around that type. You wanna live in a more residential area. So let's talk about the property taxes in the Chicago suburbs. We're gonna go through the top three suburbs for property taxes in terms of the most expensive and the top three least expensive. So let's start out with the good news. The least expensive suburbs in the Chicago area when it comes to property taxes are all in DuPage County. And we start out number one, Oak Brook. Now, Oak Brook is an amazing suburb to live in. It's actually really small, pretty small population. And it's supported by the commercial districts. There's tons of office buildings in Oak Brook. And the, the Oak Brook Mall is a huge feature. Tons of restaurants. It's an amazing area to live, but the home values are expensive. The good news though is the property taxes are cheaper. So on average in Oak Brook, about 1.25% of home values is what you'll pay for property taxes. So if you're looking for somewhere that has maybe more expensive home values but lower taxes, Oak Brook is your, is your choice. All right, let's go to number two, second best or second lowest property taxes in the Chicago suburbs, and that's Willowbrook. So Willowbrook is just a little bit south of Oak Brook, closer to I-55 along Route 83, and property taxes in Willowbrook on average are about 1.72%. Now, home values are quite a bit less than Oak Brook, so you can still find a, a really reasonably priced home in Willowbrook. It's also a smaller suburb, so it's not going to be huge population, uh, but lots of great shopping in the area, easy access to all kinds of different places, uh, good schools. So Willowbrook might be a good choice if you're trying to find lower property taxes. Number three, again, also in DuPage County. So the third best property tax rates, lowest property tax rates in Chicagoland is Burr Ridge. Burr Ridge is another suburb, actually just next to Willowbrook. And again, great schools, great area. Uh, home values tend to be a little bit more expensive in Burr Ridge than, than Willowbrook, but not quite as expensive as Oak Brook. So three really great choices in DuPage County, which is a western county of Chicago, if you're looking for lower property tax rates. Now let's go to the other end of the spectrum, the most expensive property tax rates in all of Chicagoland. And again, you know, this is gonna be tough, but you know, you need to know where these places are at. And if you have to live here or if you wanna live here, hey, just suck it up and pay the taxes, I guess. All right, so let's go to suburban Riverdale. Cook County, 7.61% property taxes is, is, the, is the highest property taxes in the Chicago area. Then we go down to Park Forest. This one is in Will County. Park Forest property taxes are 7.38%, just mega high. And then we go all the way up to Lake County, which is the northern suburbs, and that's Zion. Zion has 7.1% property taxes. So these might be places you want to avoid if you don't like paying property taxes. Hey, if you have more questions about that and you want to know how to appeal your property taxes, get a hold of me. I've got a great attorney in the Chicagoland area who can help you appeal your property taxes if you feel you're paying too much and if you need some comparable properties to compare yours to to go through the, the appeal process anywhere in the Chicago suburbs reach out to me I would be happy to help you with that thanks so much for watching avoid those taxes as much as you can but do it legally and I'll see you next time